Hi there, I'm Shelly Gray and I'm here today to share a game with you that you can use in your classroom to reinforce addition or multiplication. So you might use this game in small groups or when you have a few minutes available to play a game to reinforce strategies that your students might be learning in class at the time. So we're going to play the addition version today. You can play this with addition or multiplication. So we'll call this addition pyramid and I'll tell you that the objective here is to get the most points. As far as points go, all the face cards are their own value. And then jacks, queens, and kings each count as 10 and aces. Depending on your students, you can use aces as one or 11. So my son Dane and I are gonna play a quick round just to show you how it works. And we are gonna count aces as one and we'll play the addition version today. So each of us has our own little recording paper. That's where we're going to record our points. And I'll basically just explain the rest as we go. So first of all, the object is to get the highest number of points. We're going to do that by selecting two cards and adding them up, but the only cards that you can take are the ones that are uncovered. So for the first play, for Dean's turn, he can go first. He can only select from that bottom row because those are the only ones that are uncovered. So go ahead, which ones are you gonna choose? 10 plus 10 equals 20. Okay, 10 plus 10 equals 20. So he's gonna write 20 on his sheet. Now it's my turn. So I can still only take from the bottom row because none of those other ones are completely uncovered yet. So I'll take 10 plus eight to make 18. And I'll write that down. Okay. Mm, I'll take four plus three four equals plus seven. Three. Okay. I'm going to do seven plus two to make a nine. I'll do eight plus one to make nine. Okay. And now I will do, I guess I don't have much option here. I'll do seven plus one to make eight. I will do 10 plus seven. To make 17. Okay. I'm gonna do nine plus seven to make 16. And we're writing our points down as we go here. here go. I'll do 10 plus one equals 11. Okay. I'll do five plus six to make 11. And my only option Okay, yeah, so here we hit a point where there's only one card that's uncovered. So we decided that in this kind of a scenario, you have to add zero to that card. So Dane's only option here is to take that four and add zero to four it. Four plus zero. Right, to equals make four. equals four, good job. Now I only have two options here, so I'll take 10 plus five to make 15. I'll do 10 plus three to make 13. Okay, I'll do 10 plus 10 to make 20. And the last card is yours, Five bud. plus zero to make five. Perfect. So now we've both got all of our points written down, and now we just need to go through and add those up. So depending on your goals for your students, you might let them use a calculator to do this final addition, or you might get them to, to do it uh, manually. It's up to you. We thought that it works better to not add them as we go, um, just because then you can see if you're way behind, you might not try so hard during the end. So we thought it works better just to write all the numbers down and then add them, add them at the end. Now you can play this with multiplication. It's really fun with multiplication as well. Uh, to do multiplication, all you're going to do is choose the two cards that make the highest product, multiply them, and write your product down in it. And then at the end, you'll just add all of the products up to see who wins. Um, I did make a printable version of the instructions for this game. So if you'd like to print it out and take it back to your classroom, you can find that on my website, ShellyGrayTeaching.com, and if you search for addition pyramid or multiplication pyramid, you'll find that. I've also linked to it in the description of this video. Um, I'm going to be doing a ton of teaching tips video videos over the summer. My main goal is to provide you with simple, fun, inexpensive ideas that you can use in your classroom. So if you'd like to subscribe to those videos, you can do so on Facebook Messenger or on YouTube and I've provided the link in the description as well. I hope this helps in your classroom. I hope you can use this or share it with somebody who can and have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.